interesting that you should mention that because uh, obviously Hendrix pretty much reinvented every aspect of our chosen instrument. Uh, but because of where I was in my playing when I first started listening to Jimmy seriously, um, the rhythm playing was one of the things that fascinated me the most. Up, up until the point where I started concentrating on Little Wing and Angel and stuff like that, uh, my guitar world was broken into rhythm playing and then lead playing and ne'er the twain shall meet. And I had a Gibson style guitar, so the pickup selector was even marked thusly. There was rhythm there and sorry, rhythm here and lead there. And, and what I found in Jimmy's playing was this, this blurred kind of thing where he could be playing in all on the watchtower, for instance. Um, there's a great bit towards the end of that solo where. Um, And it's basically a funk rhythm guitar part, but because of where it is in the mix and, and such, it actually, it's part of the solo. So you can play rhythm licks as part of your lead playing, or if you look at that kind of... There's kind of a melody going on and you're outlining the chords. So it's this organic, constantly moving form of playing rhythm rather than just being imprisoned by this chord shape until it's time for the next chord. Now, if you want to mess around with that, read up on the caged system. This will help you no end. And depending on where, where you go to look for this information, um, you might find the cage system just explained as a bunch of chords. It's actually a lot more than that. It's this way of chopping the fretboard up into different chunks, and in each chunk you've got a major chord there, and you can superimpose a major pentatonic scale shape over that. So instantly um, you can kind of drift away from this chord shape using the other notes in the pentatonic and then come back. And you can see how stuff like that would help you to build up a vocabulary of Hendrixian noodles that you can do just to keep that rhythm part alive and keep it moving. Um, and there's a minor version of the same idea that you can do there, a C minor shape. And C minor shape, minor pentatonic that you can stick over the top. And as you get more bold and adventurous, you could try move. Uh, overlapping a whole seven note scale over the top. Um, so you mess around with that, just extra pentatonic notes that fit with whatever chord you're playing. Um, if in doubt, focus on the third and try and like, suspend it. You can turn it into a second or a fourth and then bring it back. A little bit of tension and release. And that's all good, clean fun. And um, the other thing that's good for that is what, whatever song you're playing, just try to nominate a certain part of the fretboard and see if you can play the whole song there. And then, without changing the key, say, right, I'm now going to play the same song, but I'm going to be up here doing it now. All my chord shapes have to be in there. And hopefully that will help and get you on the right track. Good call. <laughs>